This problem gives us a coaxial cable with current flowing in different directions along each conductor and asks us to find the magnetic field magnitude in between and outside of the two conductors. We'll do this using Ampere's law, which tells us that the closed line integral B dot DL equals mu naught times the current I enclosed by the path. In part A, we're asked to find the magnetic field in between the two conductors. We know from symmetry and the right-hand rule that the magnetic field in this region will circulate in this direction. So we'll take that to be the path that we'll integrate along. It's parallel to the magnetic field everywhere, so that B dot DL just equals B times DL. The current enclosed by that loop is the current in the inner conductor. That's the current I directed to the left in the figure. The magnetic field magnitude B is constant around the loop, so we can move it out of the integral and recognize that the integral of dl around the loop is just the loop's circumference, which is 2 pi r. And then we can solve for the magnetic field magnitude between the conductors. It works out to mu naught i over 2 pi r. In part b, we're asked to find the magnetic field magnitude outside of the two conductors. In this region, we can see from symmetry that if there is a magnetic field, it will circulate around the wires, so we can take an Amperian loop along the same path. Here there are two currents enclosed by that loop, one to the left and one to the right, so that when we sum them, we get no current, and that means that the magnetic field outside of the two conductors is also zero.